man behind the Midway, Mac McLaughlin, well, the iconic museum's founder, is now retiring. He helped bring one of San Diego's most popular destinations to life. He joins us now to discuss the work he put into, into it and be making it what it is now. As he had, well, you're going on a new adventure now, huh, Mac? I am, Allie. Uh, my first full day of retirement is coming to a close today. It's been a great day. Oh, my gosh. I can think of so many events I have been at on the Midway. You have been ever-present. Talk about those early days, though, uh, when the Midway was just a dream at that point. Well, there was a great group of people here in San Diego that really had that dream, uh, headed up by Alan UK. Uh, and the board of directors uh, formed a little coalition here, got a bunch of great uh, leaders here in San Diego to move that dream forward. And by the time I retired from the Navy, they had got permission uh, from the secretary of the Navy to bring the Midway to Navy Pier. So I really didn't do any of the heavy lifting. I was just a naval officer that was fortunate enough to retire at the perfect time when they needed a CEO to start up the museum. It was pretty tough at first, there's no doubt about it. We didn't have uh, any water, any electricity. Uh, we didn't have any exhibits. We didn't have any money. <laughs> we uh, we owed money. Yeah. Uh, we had to take on just to get it down here. Uh, but that same group of dreamers started to coalesce a group here in San Diego. And, I, and I'll tell you, uh, only in San Diego could, could the Midway have been built. It's now the most popular ship in the entire world and in the most perfect place it could be in the United States of America, right here on Navy Pier in San Diego. So uh, I was the fortunate one that got selected to, to lead the effort, uh, and I'm forever grateful for that opportunity. And did I see correctly that you had actually landed on the Midway at some point in time during your career? Yeah, the Midway uh, used to do a lot of operations out in the Western Pacific, and I was an H-46 vert rep pilot. And we service the Midway quite frequently. And of course, uh, once you need gas, you land on the Midway and uh, get your gas and continue transporting uh, baggage, bombs, and whatever uh, supplies they needed from the supply ships in the formation. So, yeah, I had a couple landings on the Midway. <laughs> I thought so. You know, it's incredible when you look at on TripAdvisor, it is the fourth most popular museum of any kind in the United States. What do you credit that to? Uh, I credit it to two things. Number one, the location. I mean this sincerely. There's not a better place in America for an aircraft carrier museum than right here in the home port where naval aviation began and, frankly, where the aircraft carrier was invented uh, for America. The first four aircraft carriers that were ever built in this country were home-based here in San Diego. San Diego was the very first home base for aircraft carriers. So location plays an important, uh, an important part uh, in our success, but really the key that puts us over the top are the volunteers, uh, the people who meet and greet all the visitors come on board, who share their passion, share their background, um, have very exciting stories uh, that, that many of us in San Diego with this big military presence uh, take for granted. But the folks from around the country just find these stories fascinating and they really bring the ship to life. So it's not just a steel ship with steel airplanes on it, which would entertain veterans, but the general public gets to actually talk to people who mm -hmm. have worked on these ships and, and interact. And it comes to life because of our volunteers. They're the keys uh, to, to the Midway's great success, no doubt about it. Well, Mac, I think you also played a big role in that. Congratulations on just what you have built and on such a great run at the Midway. It's always been so nice to chat with you there, and we appreciate your time today. I know we'll be talking to your successor, Terry Kraft, in the coming weeks, and thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you, Ali. It's been a great honor, and uh, when you meet Terry Kraft, you're going to see the Midway's in great hands. Trust me. All right. Thanks, Mac. We'll talk again soon.